Should you be eating beef, butter, and bacon? Let's find out. Welcome everyone to my to my channel and it's humble. I'm not going to say the same damn thing every day. It's just what comes to mind because today was one of those days where I was outside with my contractors just organizing everything for the build on Monday. But let's get into beef, butter and bacon. Now, some people actually just eat that all the time because they heard that's that's carnivore beef butter and bacon well let's break it down beef definite plus grass-fed plus plus so we're good on beef butter is a 50 50 deal it depends on the quality of the butter to be honest but another thing is a lot of you have dairy sensitivities to whey and casein and can't do butter so if you have a histamine or if you have mast cell activation, or if you have leaky gut, and you have sensitivities to all dairy, and you are pounding down the butter, you're gonna have some serious problems. The inflammation that you're trying to get rid of just doesn't go anywhere. Your CRP markers just keep up high because you're reacting to the butter and not knowing it. But also the gallbladder. So if you have a problem with the gallbladder, eating a bunch of rendered fat, as in butter may be problematic so that's a 50 50 deal and myself for example i do great on butter it's amazing butter makes me feel fantastic energy skin the fat soluble vitamins the clas the alas the omega-3s it's it's pretty packed with nutrition so it's a 50 50. bacon that's a tough one Lately, I've been getting people with mast cell activation where their histamine intolerance is so bad and they're eating bacon. And bacon is super high histamine because it's aged. It's sitting around collecting parasites and bacteria. It's cured in salt, which doesn't completely get rid of parasites and does not kill all the bacteria, especially if it is dry hung before cured in salt. And then, of course, people are eating bacon with nitrates and sugar. And if you're eating those three and you have histamine, which most people do, leaky gut, mast cell activation, that combo could be a catastrophe. Should you be eating beef, butter, and bacon? I think you should be doing egg yolks. I suggest doing all kinds of protein, not only for the nutrient profile and for the different types of bacteria, but if you have histamine intolerance and you're eating, let's say, ground beef, ground beef, ground beef, and it's catering to your histamine, then the rotation of your meats become very, very important, especially if you have mast cell and if you can go to a farm where it's grass-fed pastured animals checkbox win-win at least over time you can find out which foods do you well and ones that don't and of course again there's the organ meats which is not a part of the beef and the butter and the bacon butter is great but why not beef butter and egg yolks or beef lard or tallow and avocado and ride that line of carnivore instead of being strict carnivore. But that's a whole nother 20,000 videos. Don't do beef, butter, and bacon if you have histamine intolerance. And if your health is, if you have a lot of inflammation, bacon may not be the food that you want to consume. Yeah. Comment below if you've done the beef and the butter and the bacon and if you have learned how to open up and get some organ meats for your thyroid, for your reproductive hormones, really for everything. Also, if you need a consultation, you go to stephanieperson.com. I also run a course because uh, not everyone can do beef, butter, and bacon. 
So sometimes people have to do carbs or they're going to have to do some uh, prebiotic fiber and some just need to do strict carnivore to get their inflammatory markers down. You can follow me on Instagram at Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. I got to go and feed the horses some hay right to now. And I'm out. Peace.